How the hell have you all been? I've been away for a while doing some other stuff, and I don't normally do reviews. It's not what I do. It's not my thing. My thing is building stuff. But I've come across some... I've changed my focus on what I was building dioramas for, and I've gone more towards a Japanese animation type thing, and um, left the stuff I used to do previously before alone, and now I've been open to more things to add to my dios. And for the longest time, I had seen these things called chain bases. Anyone that's familiar with Gundam has seen the chain bases. I would love to give you a demonstration of one, but I don't have any because they're that hard to get. They've been discontinued. So instead, I wound up finding these hangar bases made by the Wave Corporation. Now, these are pretty much just like the old chain bases, but they're available to get. You can actually purchase them. Now, the great thing about these is, is that they are fully interchangeable and they're pretty much like the Legos of uh, bases because you can snack them as many as you want. If you buy 15 kits, you can connect all 15 kits. Now a lot of my friends have asked me uh, what size are they, what are they good for, uh, how do they come. Well, when you get the box, and incidentally I bought these from HLJ.com, and I got them, these run about $12. Okay, don't even bother trying to get them on eBay, because if you go to eBay, you're going to be paying like $15, $50, $100, dollars they get really stupid prices. Now, when you get them, they pretty much come, and they look like you're buying a model. Okay, you get a lot of parts here, but the great thing about this is, you can put the parts any way you want them. Okay, they're not, it's not one any one way. They give you a instruction book. The instruction book is more to show you what can be done with them. Uh, it gives you the general idea of what pieces go with what pieces. Okay, it's in Japanese, of course, because it's from Japan, that's right. And that's the language there. But as you can see, they have pictures that any of you can follow. I followed it in hell. If I can follow it, you can follow it too. Okay, C2, connect 3D. See, really simple stuff, it's not rocket science. If it was rocket science, I wouldn't be doing it because I'm not a scientist. But anyway, you can see all the instructions come really clearly marked. And it takes you, the first time you put it together, you're sitting there, you're really not too sure, you don't want to break anything, so you follow the instructions. Oh, incidentally, this decal strip right here is because they actually give you a decal sheet. Hazards, whatever. Now, you know, again, you're looking at this going, it's confusing. And um, if you are going to buy one, I would ask you to invest. You don't have to get this actual tool set. All right, this is a Tamiya tool set, but side cutters are always good to have to cut the actual plastic off the sprues. And the file is good to sand down the sides. I mean, you don't have to buy the one I got. I got it really cheap on sale. You can get it from HLJ.com. I think it runs about $12. If you buy it here, it's like $21. Okay, but again, that's what, you know, these are things to make your life easier. You don't have to spend the money, but the finished product generally will come out better. Now, I'm not going to sit here and do an unboxing that'll take forever just so you can see how the hell to put this together. But what I am going to do is go to the one that I've already put together and show you what it looks like. I think that's so much simpler, and I have no idea why people like to make videos where they make you wait 30 hours just to see what the hell they can make. And on that note, voila! This is what the hanger looks like already completed. Okay? As you can see, it's really, really sassy and sexy. Alright? I'll get a little closer. Maybe we won't. Uh, there we did. We got closer. Now you can see all of these parts right here are fully articulated. Well, and I'm actually I'm going to take this off because this doesn't actually come with it. Okay, when you get this set, it comes pretty much blank. Okay, you have these walls, and these are the walls that you put together. Now these arms that you see over here, which are fully articulated, and these right here, which do move, is a separate item. That is the uh, arm set, and that does come, again, from the Wave Corporation, and it comes in a box. Alright, I ever got these for $7.25. Now, 
And as you can see, it comes with one, two, three, four of these framed. You know what? I actually have no idea what the hell these are for. This is like scaffolding. I guess you could hook things to it. I don't know. But you know what? They're there. It's cool. It looks great in pictures. So what the hell? We're going to work with it. And you also get three sets of fully articulated arms. Now these, this is where your money's worth. And we're going to move on to the arms now. All right, as you can see, they have little hanger doors. I mean, it's very exciting. It's a very nice piece of work. There's a lot of detail in it. Now, this is what it looks like completed. All these are connection pieces. These all come off. This entire thing is fully sectional. And if you buy more pieces, they just add on, like bric-a-bracs. You just stack them and stack them and stack them on top of each other. As long, as high, as far as you want. Now, this is just one set. And as you can see, it measures... Because here's the ruler. It measures seven inches high. Okay? So seven inches high. And the base, as we can see, the bottom, is by six. Okay, now this is just one set. Now, you can actually, you don't have to connect this in this L formation. You could, I could have taken these and put these two pieces over here and extended it along lengthwise. So you can pretty much, like I said, you can make it anything you want. Now, as for the arm set, they just pop right in. Now the arms are fully articulated. Again, you put these together piece by piece, step by step. But as you can see when you do, hands open and close. All right, the pincers open and close. Not only do they extend, which is really cool, all right, but you have a point of articulation here, a point of articulation here. It will turn, okay, and they pop out right there and it'll turn on the base. So basically all you do is you find one of the uh, holes that you put it in and you move it around. I mean really, if you're paid to taking pictures or you like into setups, this is perfect. Now, again, if you're gonna use Mex, this has a gantry, okay? Standard size gantry. Uh, I'm not really good at the scales, don't ask me, I couldn't tell you. I'm a math idiot, that's why I did law enforcement. So I really couldn't tell you. Uh, but, they just pop in anywhere you want them to. Now let's say you have enough claws. Let's say you don't want the gantry. Well, that's pretty simple too. Because all the pieces come out. Like you'll have extra claws. The two-handed claw. You just take it out. Pop it out like that. Pop this one in. Bam, you're good to go. Okay, and again, the option that you buy this separately and you're not forced to use it, it's great. I mean, you don't have to. Let's say you're into G.I. Joe or you're into a non-Mecha type thing, all right? It works fine, but if you're into Mecha and you like it, then you know, this would be the thing for you. As you can see, it works perfect. As you can see, it works great. Now, what if you don't want to do mechs? What if you want to do, uh, if you're into aircraft? Well, okay. We'll take out the armored core. I love this thing. It's heavy as hell. And we'll put in a fan. Shrieker jet. And we'll just change the arm postings. And now, you have a cool setup. See where I'm going with this? See where I'm going with this here? See where I'm going? You're like, wow, that's cool, I have a hair in there. Yeah, you have a hanger right there. All right? So, let's say you don't like this at all. You're not into totally any kind of mecha. You're not into any kind of airplanes. Let's say you're into G.I. Joe's, and that's your bag. All right, no problem. And you want to know, dude, will Joe's and stuff fit? Yeah, Arnold, I know you're asking that question. All right? And just for Arnold, I will purposely use snake eyes. Because Arnold's just Navy, just mad because he's a squid, and they're haters. It's fine. It's fine, Arnold. 
There you go. And this is how it looks. The scale for the Jojo action figure. As you can see, it's still really, really good. Okay, the scale works great. I mean, you can pretty much use it for anything. I love these things. I discovered these things. These are only $12 a piece. Uh, the chain bases, they want an exorbitant amount of money that's really no way near worth it. Now, let's say you like this. You saw this. You're like, oh my god, that is the coolest freaking thing that I want. What could get better? I'll show you what gets better. Because not only do they have this base, they also have what I like to think of as super sexy. The Octagon. That's right. Not only can you get a square hanger, you can get an octagon-shaped hanger. It's like a stop sign, because I know somebody will ask me what the hell's an octagon. Don't, 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 really? Shh, don't, don't, don't speak. Now, the octagon's great. Lots of different formations you can put it in. As you can see, you can mix-mash it. You can make it straight, round. Again, this is a perfect thing for anyone that does figures. You can be able to do as high as you want, as small as you want. Comes same setup, instructions. And I will tell you this, they do come with a few extra parts. At first, you'll be like, why do I have extra parts that I mess something up? No, they, I think they just like to give you extra stuff. A little extra connectors, a little extra prods, you know, a little extra stuff that actually come in handy. Now, the Octagon base does come with something that the regular base does not. The regular kit does not. It comes with this tool. And you might see it, you have, to, you have to figure it out on your own. That's actually a tool. All right, so the free link system. And basically what it is is you can use this to separate the pieces to make them easier to separate. So if you have the, the joints, you insert this, lift it up. Anything that you have a, a, a pole, you stick it in. And this is to lift up the pieces. You know, it's really great because you won't break anything that way. Now, to see what it looks like, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. You wanna see what it looks like? Okay, here we go. Because I know you want to see this because that's why else would you watch this? You just want to see. Now, this is a really simple formation. I just threw it together. This is the octagon. And I think it's very sexy. Now, this comes in two colors. You can get the white one, like the, the H hanger that I have, or you can get the gray one. I had gotten, uh, originally I bought two of the white hangers, and I bought one of the gray octagonal hangers. Octagonal, I guess so that would be the proper way to say it. And uh, if you want to see how the mech looks inside, it looks just as good. Oh my god. Yes, it does. You know? So like I said, these are really great, really amusing. Uh, you really should try to get your hands on one. Uh, HLJ always has, doesn't always have them in stock. They sell out really quick because everybody wants these. Um, this Octagon base runs about 16 bucks. Right now, in the days for May 20th or something, the yen is actually lower than the U.S. dollar. So if it says $16.25 on the yen, you're going to get it for like $16 American. Okay? So my advice, buy them. You'll be happy with them. You'll be amused. I mean, you can buy two first, start off with it, see how you're going to like it. But like I said, I mean, you're not going to go wrong. You're going to be happy with them in any event. And if those of you that have had the mech bases before, the chain bases... I mean, you're going to look at them and be like, okay, wow, that's, yeah, really hot. So you can't go wrong. All right, and that's it. So long, and thanks for all the fish. I'll be making more videos if I, well, I guess I'll be making more today. So, um, thank you. Bye.